Mr. Ben, one more. You have three minutes. Throw us your Photoshop Max tip. All right. Go. Well, the first thing is I like to be efficient, so I will start here, which is the Actions panel, and I will create a new action, and I'm just going to call this Haze a Five Background, and what I'd like to do is when some images will have a hazy background, like this one. If you look at the mountains in the background or hills or whatever it is, you see they're kind of bluish, they're low contrast, and they make it so there's more separation between the near object and the far. But you don't always have that. So I'm going to stop my action just so I can close this document without it being part of the action. And now we're in this image. This image does not have that quality, and I'd like it to have it. So let's figure out how to do it. What I'm going to do is go to the filter menu, and that's where I'm going to find a choice of neural filters. And when I go to the neural filters, there is one designed for blurring the background. It's called the depth blur. I don't actually want to blur the background, but this filter can deliver something special. And that is, over here, it says output depth map only. And if I turn that on, then what I'm going to get is a grayscale image where the computer is trying to calculate where it thinks distant objects are and where near objects are. And it makes a grayscale image where bright things are far away, dark things are um, near. Brownie points and for using I'm photos of your wife I'm come down here. Well. Yep, that's my wife, Karen. And this is set to new layer, so when I click OK, I'm going to end up with a brand new layer that has this image in it. Well, what I'd like to do is get this image to become a selection so that far away things are selected and near things are not. And I can do that if you go to the channels panel in Photoshop. And if you ever want to take the brightness of your image and load it as a selection, you can do it from right here. If you hold down the command key, that's control in Windows, and you click on this, any one of these really, you're going to get a selection. That selection is going to be fully selected where it's white. It will not be selected at all where it's black. And where it shades of gray, it'll be partially selected. I'll throw away this layer because it's done its job. It's given me the selection I want. Now let's apply an effect to make that background look like it's hazy. To do so, I'm going to convert this for smart filters. So whatever filter I apply is something where I could change the settings later. Then I'll choose camera raw filter. Because in Camera Raw, there's a choice called Dehaze. And if I bring it down, it can make an image hazy. I might also make it slightly bluish and maybe even a little bit less saturated. Whatever I want to do to make that distant area look like it's uh, more hazy. 20 seconds. But this is applying to the whole image. So I click OK, and now it's not applying to the whole image because that selection we had just got transformed into this. And then I can click on that. And I can use levels if I would like to, to adjust it and control where this is done. There's our three minutes, Max. I will. Can close, I add one little closing, comment? Closing, closing comment, absolutely. But closing comment. Since we recorded an action from the beginning, that means from now on, we don't need to remember that. We can simply go to another image and hit the play button. And if we do, it should <laughs> do all the work for us, which it just did. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.